I'm Alexa Chung. You're watching net portes Fashion Challenge. It's been a bit of a sort of weird time for us all and I really couldn't take anything else more unexpected. So I decided that I would actually set myself the challenges and they're all kind of based around things that I can't wait to do as soon as we're out of lockdown. But before we get to the actual challenge itself, I thought I could talk you through some of my mood boards and inspirations for our new collection. Come into my lair. So I wanted to talk to you about my spring collection, Vertigo, which was inspired by horror movies. And it kind of expressed itself with these amazing prints that we have. We've got the shadow puppet print. There's the ditzy mushroom, which is like a trippy Alice in Wonderland vibe. And the process is quite straightforward. I'll start with a mood board like this. And so I'll put up pictures of Isabella Rossellini, who's very much the kind of icon of our collection or like notes so i'll be like we should be watching the shining all of this spins into ideas and shapes and then this lovely collection comes out which i'm really really happy with there you have it that was a whirlwind trip around our collection but now to the challenges let's go challenge number one I don't know why I said it like that. Your local is finally open. Your friends have only actually seen your shoulders up look for the best part of a year, and you want to show them that yes, you do still like getting dressed. What do you wear to the local pub for a Sunday roast with friends? Very English, this one. Sunday roast with friends in a pub. I cannot wait. When I go to the pub of a Sunday, I also like to combine it with a flower market experience. So I want to try and dress like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, as if I'm like waltzing through the set, birds are flying down, landing on my shoulders. It's just like idyllic. So definitely I want to be wearing a dress and it could be this, which we call the milkmaid dress, is literally built for a Sunday. So I'd wear this guy. Then shoe wise, okay, the shoes that I probably should wear would be like a boot, something like this, like a heavy tread zone but actually even though they're impractical I love these Manolo ballerina style and a slip-on shoe for me is very challenging I honestly I can't keep them on my feet so these this and definitely a basket bag I'm gonna put this on and then we'll see what other touches it might need ta-da do you know what these are delightful but I don't think they're right Sue might be this guy yeah, cute. And a little warm cardi for over the shoulders. And then it's a bit of this. Voila, Sunday roast with friends. And then you're like, hi. Ooh, just a wine for me, thank you. Ah, oh, have they got a veggie roast? Great, let's do it. Ah, oh, no tables, what? Okay, we'll wait here and chat for an hour. I can't wait. Challenge number two. Is this the end of Instagram live gigs from musicians in their kitchens? Let's hope so. <laughs> no, that's mean. They were great. We really enjoyed them. But you've almost forgotten what it's like to stand out in the crowd. What do you wear to a gig with friends? Um, a gig with friends. It's always tough with gigs because, well, it depends what kind of music you like, but I like, quote unquote, rock and roll. Trying to look gig appropriate, but not to rock to a rock gig is a fine balance. That said, I do feel like I want to wear leather. Um, we made these really amazing black leather shorts. So I think definitely gonna incorporate these into the zone. And then to juxtapose that, I think maybe something prairie and good girl on the top half. And then, okay, if I'm not wearing tights, then definitely a boot. But if I am wearing tights, then maybe it's a heel. And also, as I'm getting older, <laughs> it's not like a dreamy way of expressing that. Anyway, as I'm getting older, I do want to dress more sexy before it's too late. So I think I'm gonna wear like a Jimmy Choo. These remind me of like a 70s punk girl vibe, like maybe Nancy. I'll be the Nancy to someone's Sid. Anyway, I'll try it on and then we'll amend it. Be right back. There's life in the old dog yet. She still wears hot pants. They're still leather. I don't care. I would say little bag with you for lipstick, mobile phone, passport. Maybe you're gonna end up on the PJ. Depends what caliber of band you're hanging out with. Heels, probably not that great for a gig, but it's literally the first time out of the house in a year. So let's just throw caution to the wind and go crazy. Oh, take sunglasses, cause if it goes well, you might be staying out all night. That's a solid look right there. Oh, one more thing. 
I do have the option of a matching leather jacket. I mean, am I in the band? Am I watching the band? It doesn't really matter. That's the gig look. Okay, challenge three. You're at the airport. What's an airport, I hear you cry? It's one of those places where you go and then you get on a plane and then you go to another country. It was really fun. You're gonna like it again. But anyway, you've never been more excited to buy an oversized Toblerone at Duty Free. Show us your best airport attire. I used to spend a lot of my life at the airport and airport dressing is something that I really, really enjoy doing because I think it's a moment where you know you're gonna be surrounded by strangers. So I would wear dungarees, because I usually do. So these would be really cool with a t-shirt underneath and oh, a, this coat that when I made it, I was like, this is an airport coat. It's the dream airport coat. It's the Truman navy coat. It's really nice to wear. It swishes around. It doubles as a blanket, you know, when you're sitting on the plane. I'll put this on and then we'll figure out what the accessories are. Come on, you. Yes! I'm getting out of here. Um, I brought my passport with me just to show you that I'm excited. So airports, I love actually making an effort in an airport. I think it's really key. You never know who you're gonna meet. You never know whether they might wanna upgrade you. They don't. Little satchel, which is never big enough for what you actually need. You need something that can fit your magazines, a Pret or another brand of takeaway food. Weird stuff that you don't need from Duty Free. I like to buy a red lipstick, because when I land, you put that on and then you trick people into thinking you're not exhausted. And the absolute key thing, a shoe that can slip on and off easily as you go into the, um, what do you call it? What is that thing called? Security, wow, it's been a while. Another thing, I like to take a pajama with me. Then you can annoy all the other passengers by getting in a full pajama set and sitting in the middle aisle, acting like you're in first class. Pop the champagne you brought with you, and it's a perfect experience. But anyway, also doubles as a handy outfit, say you're going somewhere warm, you can wear your bikini uh, and a pair of denim hot pants and this shirt, or you can wear these with a oversized t-shirt and some really cool flip-flops, such as ugh, handy. These, but anyway, whatever, you're not taking those to the airport with you, they're in your bag. So that's it, voila. This is the airport look. Oh, I love going to the airport. There we have it, that was my fashion challenge for Netta Porte. I've been Alexa Chung, I hope you've enjoyed that. Bye. Uh, dungarees.